Just going to do a walkthrough of 1420 Redhead Road and give an overview of the property. Just a quick look at the front yard. Extensive renovations uh, out here. One baby barn is remaining. Uh, a lot of work has been put into the front yard to complete the landscaping, extend the grass area, and uh, make for a little bit more green area. And we'll just move inside through the lower front door. Originally it was a, uh, a two-unit home and we converted it back to a uh, single family. But everything is here to flip it back to two person or uh, two family if need be. Coming into the foyer, all new ceramic on the floor. And our first bedroom downstairs. Uh, new laminate flooring. Of course, new paint throughout. Nice bright window. And you'll notice it is egress size. New hybrid laminate floor here as well. And uh, it has a large walkout garden door leading to the beach up back. Very open field down here. Uh, nice new closet in the front entrance way. That was previously the kitchenette under the old uh, layout of the house. It can be converted back to a kitchenette quite easily. All the wiring is still there and the plumbing in behind. Again, more new ceramic. Uh, the downstairs has its own bathroom. And a little laundry area. This could be used for either a laundry area in the future or a small kitchenette if it was uh, a two-family dwelling. And the existing laundry area with all the machinery. This downstairs room is what we call the stove room. And as you can see, it does have a newer stove with new chimney, backsplash, and this stove can easily heat this house with about a quart and a half of wood all winter without relying on electric heat at all. Uh, we use a mix typically. Uh, this door does have a dog door. It goes out to its own little private dog run. And we'll just head upstairs now. Start with one of the children's bedrooms. Very bright, very open. And this is the master bedroom. It also has an awesome view. Two closets. The alarm panel for the upstairs is here. And you'll notice it's hardwood with uh, a border inlaid. The upstairs has two bathrooms and uh, they're both full bathrooms. Uh, this one has a tub and this one actually has a shower but they're both three-piece bathrooms. Looking out into the living area and dining area and kitchen. The kitchen uh, is a little smaller than some, but very functional, very up to date. Uh, very generous living area up here, and you'll notice that we actually 
created a space through the wall to improve ventilation for the wood stove. Uh, it's magnificent in here when the wood stove is on in the winter time. No trouble to maintain t-shirts and sweat just with a little bit of wood on. I think the crowning jewel for this property is the view out back. It's a very quiet peaceful area. Uh, it does come with 112 feet I believe of beachfront. The lot itself runs 100 wide. There's an extra 12 feet at the back just because of uh, a weird jut at the end of it. But this area is geologically stable. Cranberry Point that you see off the distance there actually protects us from all the big waves and the beach if there's material taken from it, it actually replenishes itself. So it's different than a lot of homes in the neighborhood. We're very fortunate that this area has been deemed geologically stable for the next two to three hundred years. Uh, again, extensive landscaping efforts back here. Uh, we probably put a little over ten thousand dollars just to smooth out the backyard, take out the big trees, and maintain a root system to prevent erosion but at the same time make this back space usable. Probably one of the nicest lots in the province and uh, it's in a safe area. I'm just walking back through the house briefly to give you an idea of what the front yard looks like from uh, an elevated position. Sit back from the road and again very private very convenient to uh, shopping and just about everything you could ever want or hope for hope you enjoyed and this is just a follow-up of what the property looks like at low tide it's not full low tide but it's close enough that you get the idea as you can see the water goes out of fairways that sand down below is actually hard packed sand and uh, you can walk all the way to the water's edge in sneakers and not get your feet muddy. Great place to run the dogs or rock hound or just explore the shore.